Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode. Like yesterday I was getting in my car and a lady asked me if I could help her carry her back up the hill because here in Bath the hills are pretty savage. I think I could maybe use them for fitness as well. So a good warm up this morning walking up the hills. Now time to get in the car, get to the club, get in the single once more. The weather this morning, a little bit more windy. Looks like it might rain as well, but fingers crossed the water is flat so we can chop it around and break that glass. But today we're talking about so sweeping versus sculling. What I feel like the differences are, is it harder? Is it easier to either sweep or scull? I know everyone has their sort of opinion on the matter and maybe you've never done either of them. So maybe you're thinking, hmm, which one would be better for me to start? So, getting in the car. Finally walking, walking down the hill is much easier than walking up. And we'll get to the boat club. That is us finished with the row this morning. Boat on the rack, blades in their place that they go. And what an interesting row it was today. So yesterday I spoke about the row. So did the same distance as yesterday and I felt like yesterday it was, is this? Here we go. I felt like yesterday it was a bit, my body was thinking, quite windy. My body was thinking, hmm, that's, your muscles, are, the small muscles, the balancing muscles, muscles that aren't used to single sculling are getting tired. And today went out and didn't really feel that at all. So that's absolutely fantastic. And then it always seems to be an adventure on the Avon, especially this week. Um, they were trying, to, a cow had fallen in the river, unfortunately. So I passed on the way here this morning in the car, I passed some emergency animal rescue vehicles. I was oh, I wonder what's happened. Forgot all about it and then came down the river and there was a bunch of firemen and rescue service people and people like, I don't know, just boats to re try and rescue the cow from the river. So hopefully, fingers crossed, Yam Squad, that cow does make it out of the river because that would be very sad if it didn't. But we're speaking about sculling versus sweeping, which is harder. Before we get into it, let me know in the comments below what you think, because I know it can be quite a polarizing subject if you've tried both or if you've tried neither or if you've tried one or the other. And it's really interesting to hear different opinions about the matter. So instead of comparing sweeping as a whole versus sculling as a whole, and since there's so many different types of both, I'm gonna make it really simple and compare the two slowest moving boats in each category. So that's a single skull, what I was in this morning, and the pair, that's a two-man boat on the sweep side. And for those of you that don't know, there's a difference between sweep and sculling. The difference is sweep, you get one oar, it's longer, it's bigger, and you rotate to one side. Sculling, like you saw this morning already, the oar is a bit shorter, like behind me. The spoon is smaller, but you go up and down the boat and go out here. So that's basically really simple, the differences between the two. And I think that there are so many sort of different things that go on in each that can make it harder or easier for you as an individual. For me, it's quite hard to say because I've got a lot more experience in sweeping. So for me, sweeping is easier currently. If I was to think back to when I rode a pair for the first time, versus rowing the single for the first time, I've never fallen in the water in a pair. So you might think that, well, if you fell in in a single, 
then that's harder than the pair rowing. You might look at it like that. The, the single skull, I think, is the most unbalanced boat. The pair is interesting because it is a bigger boat than the single, but you have two people and you have to almost do each thing together. Like in a single, you can affect everything. In a pair, you can only really affect, you can affect this, the balance of the boat, you can flop around, but you can only affect your side realistically. So, and the other person is affecting their side and then you have to really work together. So that is a really difficult thing about sweeping. You have to work only on your side and then hope, fingers crossed, that the person or people on the other side are doing their bit on their side. Whereas in sculling, you all take equal responsibility for your side or both sides really up and down the boat because no matter if it's a quad that's four people a double two people or a single you're all working on both sides of the boat at the same time rather than a pair four or an eight you're working on only one side so i think sweeping has that difficulty where you can only work on one side sculling has that difficulty where it's a bit more unbalanced. And again, this is single versus pair, not other boats. And then you have, like I mentioned already, the going sort of up and down the middle of the boat versus turning to the side. Going up and down the middle of the boat is easier. That's, that's I feel like that's just an obvious one. You All you have to do is slide up and down the middle. All you have to do is slide up and down the middle and it is easier to do that versus sweeping where you have to be able to turn, rotate, lean a little bit, not lean too much, not lean not enough, lean just the right amount for your and the pair, your pair partner, so that the boat doesn't flop around. But again, it's a big balance between the two versus if you stay straight down the middle with your body, it will help, but you also have sort of more oars to deal with. Which brings me on to my next point. You only have one oar in sweeping, so it is I feel like it's easier to control, but again, that might be because I've swept more. So you have two hands on one oar. One hand does one thing, the other hand does another thing. Whereas in sculling, both hands have to do the same thing and do everything. So in rowing, the, the, we have the blade squaring and feathering. With a sweep blade, one hand does the squaring and the other hand just kind of sits there. So it's kind of like this when you're on a boat, whereas sculling, you do this. So that is a difficulty point to sculling, where it's a bit more complicated in that regard. And then finally, the whole movement itself. Is it harder to do sculling versus sweeping? The movements are similar. You have the up and down the slide, you have an oar at least, and you're on the water and you're in a boat. But the movements that you need to do are quite different. The actual technique used in sculling versus using in sweep is different and that's down to the rotation, it's down to the oar itself or oars in sculling and it's a very interesting thing that I'm learning now that I didn't quite realize the, the, the drastic differences. So not only is it a case of what I just said, it's also the, the sort of drive is different because it's the application of power is different. And I think, again, I think this is going to me being more experienced in a sweet boat. I think sculling takes the difficulty point on that one as well. So I would say, again, let me know in the comments below if you think I'm wrong. I would say sculling is more difficult, but I believe that is mostly, like I've already said, down to the fact that I just find sculling difficult because I haven't done it that much. Maybe it's a case of if I get into a quad, even when I was in a double with Charlie, it did make it easier, but still it was confusing and I, I felt like I had left less control. And I think, again, that's where it comes from. There is a difference between the two, sculling and sweeping. And I think, I know people that can do both, so I would like to talk to them about what they think is harder or easier because then they can kind of give that opinion. But as time goes on, as I get better at sculling I'll, and then get back into sweeping at some point maybe, I'll be able to really say, okay, this is harder or this is easier. 
And that will be it for today's discussion, Yam Squad. Hopefully you've enjoyed a little bit of a row this morning. Again, a little bit of an adventure, as always, on the Avon. And that is Friday finished with. Hopefully you've had a great week and we're into the weekend already. And as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and I will see you tomorrow for Saturday's video. Oh, yeah.